when we think about health equity, we need to think about the different kinds of barriers that, uh, that impact well-being, economic barriers, gender barriers, geographic barriers, physical abilities, aging. These all come into our conception at the foundation of how we think about health equity. And I'll come back to some of those. But one of the hardest barriers to talk about in America is racism and, and discrimination. Um, it's one of the most challenging conversations that we have. And uh, I'm very aware that as a highly privileged white man in America, my knowledge and understanding of these issues um, is never gonna be very deep. Um, but if people in positions of power, people in positions of privilege, uh, aren't willing to have these conversations and join this, these conversations, if they're viewed as conversations that are only owned by people who are experiencing racism, uh, we're not gonna get very far as a nation. Um, I've lived most of my life with only a, a marginal awareness of the number and magnitude of policies uh, that are, were explicitly set up by our national, state, and local governments to make sure that groups of people would never have the same opportunities as others to move and to get ahead. Um, equity is about the value that society places on each of us, uh, regardless of our racial, ethnic, economic, geographic, or other groups that we're identified with. And some groups experience more benefits and opportunities because our systems were set up that way. Let's, let's just take housing, the history of housing in America. And uh, I, I'd refer you to a, a book that came out this year, The Color of Law by, by Rothstein, that, that goes through housing policy in America. Uh, almost every policy from zoning codes that determine what gets built to the lending rules that determine who is worthy of a mortgage, uh, uh, where people can buy houses, to tax assessment priorities. These were specifically established to promote and maintain segregation in America. Uh, it was intentional. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a downstream side effect. As a result, for most of the past century, African Americans and people of color have been denied the means to own property, to accumulate wealth, and to pass it on to their children. They've also had to live for generations with the ongoing stress of discrimination in education, employment, the justice system, and the medical system. And all of those factors impact health. As a society, we need to acknowledge that this is part of our history. We need to own it, we need to talk about it, and we need to work to fix it, because we can fix it. We need to ask ourselves what our policies and practices today are doing to repair the damage? Who do our policies and our investments uh, benefit the most? And who do they hurt? Uh, 